Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. In early August 2010, the Thai government sank 25 army tanks off the coast of Patani and Naratiwat provinces in southern Thailand. In addition to tanks, 273 all train carriages and 198 garbage trucks were also dumped into the South China Sea in an effort to create artificial reefs. The project, initiated by the Queen of Thailand, aims to produce new coral reefs and improve the marine ecosystem, as well as increase local fish stocks in the region. In addition, another purpose of these artificial reefs is to prevent overfishing. It is known that this project cost far more than previously estimated with an annual budget of 115.7 million Thai baht or about $3.7 million. However, the plan for this artificial reef project has existed since 2008, which made various institutions willing to assist in the construction of artificial reefs in the Gulf of Thailand. The State Railway of Thailand also donated old railway tracks and containers. Meanwhile, the Thai Department of Highways also contributed pipes and concrete pillars, all of which have been dumped into the sea to serve as artificial reefs. This project has been relatively successful, resulting in the growth of many marine biota, ranging from coral flowers, clams to barnacles. New York Subway Cars The last artificial reef project is the sinking of New York subway cars, which began in 2001. At that time, the New York Transit Authority started disposing of unused subway cars by dumping them into the sea. Of course, this is intended to create artificial reefs that can enhance marine life. This option was chosen because it is cheaper than having to remove asbestos from the cars, which is considered to pollute the environment. The New York subway car sinking project was first carried out at Slaughter Beach, Delaware, precisely 16 miles east of the Indian River Inlet. This artificial reef area is known as Redbird Reef. Seeing the good potential of Redbird Reef, many states in the United States began accepting used subway cars to be used as artificial reefs. However, the subway car dumping program was discontinued in 2010, after more than 2,500 cars were also sunk. This is because the newer types of cars contain more plastic. Therefore, it is considered too expensive to dispose of them economically before being buried. Airbus A330 One Airbus A330 aircraft with the registration number TCOCB has been decommissioned and is now used as an artificial reef. For your information, this aircraft was initially delivered to Hong Kong's Dragon Air Airline in 1995. Then in 2010, the aircraft was transferred to Anur Air, an airline based in Turkey and Saudi Arabia. After nearly 20 years of operation, the aircraft was decommissioned in 2017. Its old age made the interest in buying this aircraft minimal. However, instead of being discarded, the TCOCB aircraft was salvaged in a joint project with Turkish authorities to sink the aircraft's fuselage as an artificial reef. The funding for this project came from the Trans-Anatolian Natural Gas Pipeline Project or TANAP. Reports show that the company paid around $100,000 to sink the A330's fuselage.
To transport the aircraft's fuselage, the plane was dismantled in Antalya by the Turkish company Sky Air Shop. Like aircraft recycling, this process removes many parts that can be reused or resold, as well as components that can harm the marine environment. The result is a mostly empty aircraft fuselage, with passenger seats, galley, various electronics such as wires, and all flight instruments removed. After dismantling, the next process is to transport the aircraft fuselage using six road trucks from Antalya to Ibris in the northwestern province of Edirn. After being reassembled at the port, the A330 aircraft is sunk by attaching floats to the fuselage, which are then carefully deflated to allow the aircraft to sink. This sinking process takes about four hours. Now, the aircraft wreckage not only serves as a home for living creatures but has also become a favorite tourist destination, especially for tourists who enjoy diving. Oriskany Aircraft Carriers The Oriskany Aircraft Carriers, or USS Oriskany, is an Essex-class aircraft carrier that was newly built after World War II for the United States Navy. The ship, measuring 888 feet long, 129 feet wide, and with a draft of 30 feet 6 inches, has a sailing speed of up to 33 knots, or about 37 miles per hour. After officially completing its duties for 25 years, the ship, nicknamed Mighty O, was retired on September 30, 1976, and stored for long-term storage in Bremerton, Washington to be retained as a mobilization asset. Then, on September 9, 1995, the Oriskany was sold as scrap by DLA Disposition Services to Pegasus International, a new company at the former Mare Island Naval Shipyard in Vallejo, California. However, in 1999, the Navy reclaimed ownership of this ship. The ship was then towed 15,000 miles to Beaumont, Texas for storage while awaiting the availability of funds for its disposal. On April 5, 2004, the United States Navy announced that they would move the Oriskany to the state of Florida to be used as an artificial reef. Resolve Marine Group was entrusted to perform the environmental remediation work or cleaning the ship of hazardous materials before sinking it as an artificial reef. After being hampered by several issues, the ship was finally brought to Pensacola, Florida and sunk on May 17, 2006. To sink the ship, the Navy's Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team from Panama City detonated the Oriskany using 500 pounds of C4 explosives. The location where Oriskany sank is known as the Great Carrier Reef, referring to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. USNS General Hoyt S. Vandenberg The next United States Navy ship that has become an artificial reef is the USNS General Hoyt S. Vandenberg. This General GO Square class transport ship measures 522 feet 10 inches long, 71 feet 6 inches wide, has a draft of 24 feet, and a speed of 70 knots or about 19 miles per hour. The ship is powered by a single screw steam turbine with 9,900 horsepower or about 7,400 kilowatts. After being retired in 1983 and removed from the naval vessel registered in 1993, the Navy decided to sink the ship and turn it into an artificial reef. Preparations for the ship's sinking required months of inspection and cleaning to remove hazardous materials inside. The ship's cleaning was done at the Norfolk Naval Shipyard in Virginia. 
Workers had to remove over a million feet of wire, 1,500 vent gaskets, dozens of watertight steel doors, 81 bags of asbestos, 193 tons of potentially cancer-causing substances, 46 tons of trash that could break loose and float to the surface, 300 pounds of mercury-containing materials, and 185 55-gallon drums of paint chips. After the cleaning was completed, the Vandenberg ship immediately made a 1,100-mile journey to the port of Key West to be sunk. The Vandenberg ship was officially sunk on May 27, 2009 and is the second largest artificial reef in the world after the USS Oriskany aircraft carrier.